Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be taking a quick look at the crypto market crashing currently as we see a 9.73% decrease in the last 24 hours. Theta Fuel itself is pretty much the only gainer across the market with a 24 hour period of being an 11.79% increase, which is just crazy to continue to see this Theta Mainnet 3.0, uh, you know, really that release coming at the end of June, continue to push T Fuel at this, uh, you know, 51 cent price point. It's just, like I said, it's a crazy thing to see. As we go back to our prices and we take a look at the losers, we're seeing pretty much losers across the board. Thorchain, 18.77, Clayton at 18.44, Compound at 16.94, and with a surprising 16.51%, we also have Polygon, but you know, let alone we have Chainlink at 15.28. So there are a lot of solid, solid coins uh, at these major, major double digit decreases. So this is a great entry point opportunity for a lot of different people. And it's a crazy, crazy time for this to really take place because we've seen such great mass adoption taking place recently. Uh, we've talked about some big things taking place. I do want to jump into some articles here in a second, but you know, realistically, I do want to, you know, take a look at this insane uh, really crypto market in general. So $62.3 billion in the market cap on USDT right now. I do think this will rise by the time we get to, you know, later in the day. And we're going to continue to keep you guys up to date with that as well. We see a volume being $80.6 billion uh, when it comes down to USDT. So obviously a lot of people moving money around right now, um, you know, and you're going to have that during these crypto market dips or crashes. So make sure to, you know, continue to really stay up to date with these crypto market dips and crashes because we've talked about how this was going to be a potential hazard or I guess a potential possibility with the most recent uh, really idea of accumulation coming for uh, the months of really June and July. I've talked about the accumulation period for June and July are going to be kind of rapid, volatile, and mostly sideways. Um, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. So we're seeing that volatile crypto crash for June already taking place. I do expect us to have a decent recovery uh, in the upcoming you know days and weeks ahead. But you know realistically, we're going to continue to have this sideways trend or even a maybe downward trend for the upcoming June and July. So we'll keep you guys up to date, like I said. So if you guys have not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and like the video before we get a little bit farther into uh, really, and an, I guess, analyzing what's really taking place. So um, like I said, a lot of great entry points across the board. Cardano is actually weathering the storm pretty well at about 11% of a decrease in the last 24 hours. But if we go to losers and we actually go to the very, very last page, which would, I guess would be page three um, as we go down here, we can actually see what's weathering the storm the best. And we have obviously, um, you know, Theta doing very, very well, which is not surprising. We talked about T Fuel, how it's actually positive right now in the last 24 hours. Theta is actually down about 5%. Kyber Network doing okay, about a 6% decrease. But then from there, it pretty much gets uh, abruptly increased to about that double digits very, very quickly. We see Tron above 10% of a decrease. Yearn dot Finance, Cardano. So like I said, a lot of great coins are seeing these massive decreases across the board. And I do think there's a lot of great coins to invest in right now. I want to talk about some of my favorites here in just a second at the end of the video. But first, let's take a deep dive into really what's going on um, just recently and why I think, you know, this is a little bit crazy to continue to see these prices decrease to such great price points because, like I said, there's great really news and information going across, uh, you know, the globe right now. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the fourth largest Bitcoin whale just bought an additional 1883 uh, additional, I guess we should say the fourth largest Bitcoin whale just bought an additional 1,883 Bitcoins at 36,000. So, um, you are continuing to see, you know, Bitcoin whales jump in and jump on board with these crazy, crazy price points that are a little bit higher than our current dips, but that just shows that they are ready for that increase. A lot of these Bitcoin whales investing at these really price points are giving us a great opportunity to really understand that we are getting closer and closer to a uh, most likely and uh, I guess an outbreak out of this accumulation period or manipulation in FUD zone. And I do think we are going to get out of it. So uh, taking a look at the next one, we also see Norway finance minister sees great interest in cryptocurrency, says Bitcoin could see breakthroughs. So the finance minister, uh, minister of Norway believes that Bitcoin may experience breakthroughs. He noted that there is no doubt that there is a great interest in cryptocurrency, both in Norway and internationally. So we are 
continuing to see big governments really understand that you know Bitcoin is here to stay. Uh, cryptocurrency and in general is going to continue to bring mass adoption across the globe. And you know a lot of people are seeing that it's uh, you know like I said here to stay, and a lot of people investing more and more as we see more governments and uh, government officials talking about investing as well. Next, we have top White House tech critic Tim Wu holds more than $1 million in Bitcoin. Wu, who advises Biden on technology and competition policy, keeps a large portion of his wealth in cryptocurrency, which is obviously a good thing. Obviously, you know, you would assume he understands the market, he understands the blockchain, he understands cryptocurrency when you hold such a, uh, you know, a substantial amount of of it. So, you know, realistically, this is a good thing. Um, and a lot of people don't understand that uh, you are going to have these dips. Even with good news coming out, you're going to have these kind of crashes and dips take place. It's not always going to correlate directly with, uh, you know, news and big information. And it's also not going to correlate directly with TA. So a lot of people do technical analysis. They thought we were maybe having a great recovery period. I told you guys in my videos, my altcoin, uh, you know, price predictions, as well as my Bitcoin and Ethereum price predictions, that this is not the end of it. We are going to see more crashes throughout June and July before we see that accumulation period kind of break over or break through. And then we'll kind of start to see, I, I think, you know, a Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as so many other altcoins really start to erupt out of those, uh, you know, I guess, accumulation period altcoin uh, prices. So I do want to take a look at one more article here. This is a pretty big one. It talks about PayPal registered a record with Bitcoin and really reached a daily volume of more than $300 million. So PayPal registered a new record, obviously related to operations with Bitcoin, since it's capitalized a volume of daily operations exceeding that $300 million. So that is a massive amount of money, obviously a massive amount of Bitcoin. And it's definitely a good thing for the crypto versus a whole continuing to see PayPal will definitely continue to utilize uh, cryptocurrency. And I think, you know, that's going to only give us more and more mass adoption uh, to PayPal as well as so many other companies and institutions out there. We've talked about uh, El Salvador quite a bit. Obviously, the president, I haven't brought up, a, you know, an article on this, but I did want to say, you know, obviously El Salvador talked about how it's going to be a legit, you know, cryptocurrencies is a legit um currency over in El Salvador. And that's just one of the, uh, you know, beginning countries that is going to take advantage of cryptocurrency and legalize it specifically, like I said, a legal tender. And I think that's going to be huge for really, like I said, the mass adoption across the globe. And I think more and more countries, small and large are going to start adopting very, very quickly. And I think this is going to only help with these current, uh, like I said, crypto market crashes that are taking place. And I think, like I said, there are going to be a lot more in June and July. And we could continue to see Bitcoin actually drop farther down. And it could also have a you know decent recovery. Nobody knows exactly what's going to happen next. Uh, all we can do is wait and watch and see what does take place. I am, for the most part, just holding on to all of my crypto. Uh, do remember, guys, I'm not a financial advisor, so always do what you guys think is best for you. Um, you know, always do your own research before investing as well. So we know that this volatile market is going to have some ups and downs, specifically in June and July, like I've talked about many, many times. But, you know, there's a lot of coins that I'm currently looking into and hopefully going to be buying at the very, very bottom. I haven't bought any yet at this current price point, but I do, like I said, expect a little bit farther of a dip. Um, and if not, and if I've missed out on a great opportunity, that's perfectly okay because I've bought some of the previous dips as well. So I want to talk about specifically a few coins, that being Cardano at $1.51, obviously only down about 11% of a discount, but you know, that's going to be a great discounted price for you guys to purchase. Obviously a long-term coin that has such great potential. We talk about it, like I said, daily on this channel. Uh, some great coins, obviously along, you know, in the middle of of some of these that I'm talking about, but you guys also, you know, probably know the next coin I'm going to talk about. If you guys have been, you know, watching and following for a while, I talk about Chainlink a lot on the channel, and I I love Chainlink. I think it's going to be a coin that uh, continues to surprise a lot of people, and a lot of institutions are not even invested in Chainlink yet, and I think that's going to be a mistake that they. Uh, kind of missed out on. So I think, you know, $23.65 right now is definitely a great discounted rate for Chainlink. And I think it's going to continue to be a one coin that a lot of people wish they wish they kind of you know took advantage of at this current price point. Polygon is one I would usually say yes to. And I, I think it's a great opportunity still at the 16.51% decrease, a great discounted rate. But, you know, we did have a great bullish look in poly, uh, Polygon recently. We actually saw the month span still being a positive 84%. So I'm going to stick uh, kind of stay away from that one for this specific video. 
taking a look at the next one though i think theta is actually at a great spot right now you know only a five percent decrease so only a five percent discounted rate but you know realistically i think theta like i said in my previous videos we could easily see anywhere between 15 to 20 dollars by the end of june specific uh, at the very least in my opinion so taking a look at a couple more i do want to say v chain as well v chain now down about 14.39 percent still looking like a very very great opportunity for people to buy in at a discounted rate so these are just a few coins few suggestions to myself few opportunities for myself to take advantage of if you guys want to take advantage of those obviously do so on your own uh you know free will do remember guys to subscribe to the channel turn notifications on and like the video as we try to keep you guys up to date with all this crypto news and really price updates as quickly as possible so thank you guys so much for tuning in i'll see you guys all in the next one thanks again guys